welcome back to my channel i am so I, I think i should start by saying thank you all for watching i am super excited to see the amount of people that are watching and i am um thank you for all your lovely comments uh, i have been loving going to thrift stores recently buying new things for the house and i wanted to share three lambs that i found recently that i am loving and i am going to be using it to decorate some of the spaces which i'm going to be sharing with you guys obviously but i wanted to put this together and share it with you let me show you what i did with these three gorgeous gorgeous lambs the first one is this gorgeous uh lit i love the shape of this lamb i'll show you an inspiration for a lamb that i have seen that i absolutely love the minute i saw this it reminded me of this lamb and I wanted to use, I would, at the time I was really wishing I had two, but I only found this one, but I found another one on Facebook, which I'm picking up in a couple of days. And this is going to be going into my daughter's bedroom. So let's make this look beautiful. This is the first lamp. I absolutely love this lamp. I love the size of it. I love the shape of it. I love the design on it. It's just a really nice, elegant, simple lamp. And I just love the simplicity of it. This is going to be a super, super easy DIY for me. Um, The power of spray paint, <laughs> like we all know. But the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to clean it up. I just use soap and water, nothing too fancy. So just dish soap and some water. It wasn't that dirty. And I gave it a really, really good clean, make sure that I got inside the crevices and clean all of that up and wipe it dry. And then after I wiped it, I left it for a little while just so that it was completely, completely dry. And then I use um, just paper bag and I covered the top of the lamp as well as the cable just to make sure that once I was spray painting it, I didn't have those bits the bits that i didn't want spray painted the parts that i didn't want spray painted i didn't spray paint those so i'm just gonna wrap it with this um paper or a paper bag and uh, tape it with a masking tape at the bottom and i will also do the the um cable so that's what you call it right? it's the cable So once that's all done, I am using Krylon white matte spray paint and I am just going to go all over it. Um, I didn't see the difference to be perfectly honest with Krylon and just your normal Rust-Oleum and Rust-Oleum is much cheaper. So use that if you want to. You can get it from Walmart, plain, loads of places and they're super cheap. And this is what the lamp looks like. Loving it. I can't wait to pick up the second one. I just love the simplicity of this lamp. It's so elegant, so beautiful. I added a white sheet to it just to match it and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love how this one turned out super easy just a bottle of spray paint I didn't even use half of it and a new shade and it looks bright as new again for the second one it is this lamp that I found at the thrift store I, when I saw it I was interested in the shape but not so much the lamp so when you see this don't just pass it up because you don't like the way the texture of the lamp looks I am going to be using some sparkle on this one just to give it a texture that I like and then I am going to distress it a little not distress it I'm going to age it a little bit so let's get to it this is the second lamp I love this lamp I love the design of it but I hate those square boxes that you can see in the middle that square design I'm not here for it not here for it at all so the same treatment as the first one soap and water give it a really really good clean make sure that it is nice and clean get all the dust the debris 
I'm trying to take the tags off too and just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. To cover those spaces, I am using Spackle in England. It is called Polyfilla. That's what I'm using. And I'm just going to go all over. I Initially, what I wanted to do was just go over and cover that square boxy things that I didn't like. But once I did that, I didn't realize that just covering that created like a you could see the divide and I didn't like it. I wanted it to really flow. So I went really, really lightly all over the rest of the lamp with the seam sparkle just to make sure that the whole thing blended together and I covered the top as well. And I left that to dry. This is like two days later. I left it to dry for two days and then I went over it with the same Krylon white matte spray paint. Once I was done with it and left it to dry, I brought it inside and I am using just some leftover acrylic paint. I am so sorry I couldn't find the name of it because I'd had it for a little while. Um, and I saw any cream paint will do anything that's really dark cream so it can contrast the white and all I did was I mixed it with some water um, and just to make it really runny and I just used my brush and I would just kind of dab in places so there's no rhyme or rhythm to this I left some of the white spaces empty and then I would just dab the white the cream the cream paint in some places and I will let it drip and just I just want it like random this is completely random I can't tell you that there's a rhyme or rhythm to this as you can see it's dripping down just great that's all I'm doing here once I was done doing that I then went over it with a white um with a wet paper towel and kind of dabbed as much of the paint off as I can so I'm kind of just dabbing it off to make sure that I take some of it off I didn't want it so jarring and then once I was done I wanted something darker which I didn't have so I mixed a little bit of coffee into so you're drinking coffee into the white paint and I use the coffee mixture and use it right at the bottom of the of the lamp and then I went over where the handles were and I put some, some of it there um, and then just randomly used it in places and then now I use a rag and just went over it and wiped it all off and that was all I do I know some people will use dirt um this to me was easier and my kitchen smelled delicious when i was doing it there's you know that's always a plus doing you know diy and it smelling delicious there's nothing wrong with that at all um and that was it that was all i did with this one and then i left it to dry you're welcome to go over it with like a matte uh, spray paint sealer if you wanted to but i didn't and it's held up well and this is what it looks like i am so in love with this lamp i am um, i think for me i know i i will say coming up that this one is my favorite but after styling it and looking at it i just think this lamp is so glorious it's so beautiful i absolutely absolutely love this ones and my birds always have to make an appearance i think these birds are one of my most favorite favorite decor items that i own i love the way this lamp turned out look at the texture of it it's so pretty i wanted to go so close so you can see what the different tech the different paint the different colors of paint that we use what the effect of that was on the lamp I really, really, really love how this one turned out. It looks super expensive and it didn't take that much to do at all. You can mix your colors however way you want. You could do black underneath and then just do white up top so you can still see the black underneath it. There's so many ways to do it when to put sparkle on something, how you can change it. But I really just wanted to make this one look old and I love how it turned out. For my third one, I saved the best for last. I absolutely love this one. We It's a backstory to this, so I'm gonna be really, really quick. We went to pick up a dresser for my friend and I saw this lamp and I was like, wow, love it. I picked it up and the guy, I was gonna ask him how much it cost and because we we're buying the dresser, he gave me this lamp for free. It is a real, um, like it, it looks like one of those respiration hardware lamb so it is kind of inspired by that i love those i love the fact that this one is not dainty like the ones that you will see 
like the ones that you will see in Ikea. I really, really love how this one looks and it was a very, very simple DIY. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the last one. I really love this lamp and I was super excited to do it. Another simple one as well. These things don't have that too much technique on them to you perfectly honest with you. So you can do this with anything. Um, this one, I, when I was looking at it, close inspection, I realized that if you look close, you can see like the plastic. I think it was a plastic that was covering the whole lamp. And when they pulled it out, didn't pull it out well. So that got stuck in the corner. I should have taken that, you know, the bit that you use to turn it on and off. If I took that out, it would have made my life a whole lot easier. I kind of realized it much later. But anywho, I kind of, I tried to, um, unscrew the lamp just so i could have enough gap and yes i know i'm using a knife but i was very careful um just to make sure that i, I do not scratch the lamp so i used that to kind of take off that plastic and there was uh, the blue plastic off and there you go and there was a little bit as well stuck inside the lamp as you can see so i'm using my exacto knife and kind of just pushing it from one end to the other so that i can pull it out um and once i was done with that i realized that there was also a tag sitting inside the lamp so these are the things that you do at the beginning your prep work is very important um it makes sure that your finished product looks looks really really good so take your time clean it up look around if there are any tags or anything that you need to kind of clean up make sure you do that so that's all the rubbish that i took off from the lamp and then i realized that this was also there so peel that off give the lamp a really really good clean um once i was done with all of that i took it outside and i really wanted to to really just give this lamp some tlc so i started with uh this um stop rust primer from rustoleum i sprayed the whole thing um with that i left it to dry um once it was dry then i am gonna go over it with a gold spray paint This is a spray paint that I'm using, the one that has the clock. To me, it's a rust -Oleum paint. This is one of my, well, this is my favorite gold metallic paint. If you're looking for gold spray paint, this is the one to get. I absolutely love it. I gave the whole lamp, the whole thing, including the inside where the bulb goes, I spray painted all of it and I spray painted it. I think I gave it two coats of paint. Uh, so I did one side, left it to dry, and then I came and then I turned it over and I did the other side. And this is how it looks absolutely in love with this lamp. I am just in love. I will let you just have a look. This is what it looks like once it is done. I am loving this lamp. I'm going to be using it in my next uh, video that I will be sharing with you guys. Um, I love, love, love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new. I would really love for you to come and see how we are getting on. Um, and thank you all for your support. I really do appreciate it. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.